Hi, my name is Lauren Gardner, and I'm recording for the Physics 2212 public lecture um, video. Uh, the lecture that I'm going to review is Pearls of Wisdom. That was made by Professor Elisabetta Masamoto. Um, in this lecture, uh, we learned a lot about symmetries and how most of the images and patterns that we see in society today are really just symmetries that are repeated over and over again. In terms of what exactly symmetry is, um, it can take a couple of forms, but it basically uh, is a motion that leaves the object looking the same or repeats part of an object over and over again. Um, one type of symmetry is reflection symmetry or mirroring. Um, so this would be like a stamp where uh, an image on one side would be flipped over onto the other side. Um, another type of symmetry is rotational symmetry. In this case, a small image would be rotated by a certain angle. And it would travel all the way around or however many degrees it was supposed to travel um, and be repeated in that sense. Um, another type of symmetry is translational symmetry. Um, in this case, an image is simply moved up or down or to the side or on an angle, um, but it's basically just picked up and moved. Um, so all these things that are being moved, the smallest part of the pattern is called the fundamental symmetry. And this is kind of the wallpaper group. Um, so there's 17 different planar symmetries, which are patterns that are repeated over and over in design or um, fashion in general. Uh, another topic that the lecturer talked about was curvature. Um, curvature kind of went along with the sense of pattern um, because our eye naturally picks up any sort of defect um, when we're looking at a designer pattern. A lot of this, a lot of times this happens because of curvature. Humans aren't perfectly straight so a lot of the times um, pieces of pattern need to be removed which is called a dart or fabric needs to be added which is called a got it. Um, and so these two things are um, curvature as I said before. Um, one is considered positive curvature um, which is where we remove a wedge of fabric from the pattern. It's also called uh, a dislocation or a defect. Another type of curvature would be negative curvature, and that's where we would add a wedge of fabric or pattern into um, something so that um, we get something that is cone-shaped. Um, and this is also called a declination. So in both of these cases, you can use these type of positive and negative curvatures to create um, something that is actually usable by humans because, like I said before, lecture really emphasized how um, humans are not flat and it's pretty difficult to design for them because they do need um, curves. Um, and to do so, the lecture talked about Euler's um, and how faces, edges, and vertices were um, used um, to and related to the number of holes within an object. Um, so in order to successfully connect parts of patterns um, and not have holes, or if you wanted holes, say, for some sort of special design, you could use Euler's um, and figure out how many holes based off of the faces, the edges, and the vertices using a very simple formula, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, the reason that I chose this topic to uh, go and see and hear the lecture on is because I really enjoy seeing um, something kind of on the art side connected to something like math and physics, uh, particularly curvature and pattern and design. Um, these are all things that you don't necessarily think about 
especially these things having some sort of science behind them. Um, but the lecture really brought it home as to how related fashion and math and physics really are. Um, as since attending this lecture, I've actually started to notice how patterns are repeated um, over and over again. And um, what really has stuck in my mind is she uh, used different stamping or rolling images to kind of uh, show the way that a pattern would be uh, rotated or mirrored. And um, I can kind of visually do that while I'm looking around at things that I see today.